properties of logarithms. Since we use logarithms in algebra, we need to know their properties. These properties have been very helpful in making logarithms, as in log tables and slide rules. Since logarithms are really just a different form of exponents, we shouldn't be surprised to find that the properties used in performing operations with logarithms are similar or analogous to the rules of exponent operations. The product of power rule of exponents is that you can get the product of exponential terms with a common base by adding the exponents. Here's an example. x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b. There's a similar rule in logarithms where the log of one number plus the log of another number is the log of the product of those two numbers. And for this, the base of each logarithm must be the same. This is called the product rule of logarithms. And here we have log a plus log b equals log ab. The quotient of power rule of exponents is that you can get the quotient of exponential terms with a common base by subtracting the exponents. And here's an example x to the a divided by x to the b equals x to the quantity a minus b. The similar rule in logarithms is that the log of one number minus the log of another number is the log of the quotient of those two numbers and the base again of each logarithm must be the same. This is the quotient rule of logarithms. Here we have log a minus log b equals the log of the quotient a over b. There's one more very important rule with logarithms, and that is that the logarithm of a number with an exponent is equal to that exponent times the log of that number. This is called the power property of logarithms. Let's use the properties of logarithms to solve the following. We have log base 12 of 12 plus log base 12 of 11, and we can use the product rule of logarithms to solve it. What we do is we multiply 12 and 11 together, and it becomes log base 12 of 132. And we can use our calculator to check by taking log 132 divided by log 12, and we get 1.965. Now try this one yourself. Okay, this one's going to be log base 3 of 16 times 4, so it's going to be log base 3 of 64. And if we work that out uh, using lo our calculator, log 64 divided by log 3, 3.79. Let's try this one subtracting logarithms. We have log base 5 of 8 minus log base 5 of 4, and it equals the log base 5 of 8 divided by 4, the quotient of 8 and 4. So that's going to be log base 5 of 2. And we can see that it works using our calculator, so we go ahead and take the first expression, log 5 divided by log, log 8 divided by log 5 minus log 4 divided by log 5. We get the same for log of 2. So that shows that that was a correct calculation. Here's another property of logarithms in action. We have the log of 16 to the power of x equals 10. Well, we can go ahead and use our power property where we move the x, that exponent, in front of the log 16. And so we end up with x log 16 equals 10. All we have to do now to solve for x is divide both sides of the equation by log of 16. And so if we do that, we get this for an answer. We can have the base of a logarithm by any positive number. However, most calculators, such as this one, will have, at most, log keys with two bases. And here we have uh, the log key for log base 10, and right below it, the ln key for log based on the special irrational number e. The change of base formula lets you find the logarithm of a number to any base. And this is the rule. We have log of a, of a base of x equals log of another base, k of x, divided by log of that other base, k of b. And so no matter what the base is, we can use the log of any other base. Uh, and so we can use that to find the answer. And let's solve this 
uh, logarithm using the change of base formula. This is going to be log 20 divided by log 4, and we do that and we get this number. Also, we can take ln 20 divided by ln 4. Now, it's a different base, but we end up with the same answer, which shows the applicability of the change of base formula. In this video, we have introduced the following rules and formulas. The product rule of logarithms. Log A plus log B equals the log of A times B. The quotient rule of logarithms. The log of A minus log of B equals the log of the quotient of A and B, or A divided by B. And the power property of logarithm. The log of A to the power of X equals X times the log of A. And we've also talked about the change of base formula, and this is it. We hope this summary and encapsulation of these special properties of logarithms has been helpful.